this video will show how to create a metal deck profile this time I'm going to uh, show a three different way of creating this profile the uh, first way is using our uh, application and components in application and components you can just simply type panel and then you can find here the uh, panel in database I think this one is the simplest way but uh, a, a very simple uh, metal deck profile you can do here so just double click on this All right and uh, in this case as you notice that there are some parameters here that you can change so whether you want to uh, change this size or uh, the uh, distance between the rib the rib height and then number of uh, rib on this uh, between B and D also there's a start end if you want to have some um, uh, parameters that you want to add from the start type and the end type you can do so right so at the moment I'm just using the uh, the default one and then uh, let's see what will happen so parameters you can specify here the section name let's say uh, DK and then here uh, let's say uh, deck uh, 101 and then you can specify the uh, the density of the material to calculate the weight or the the volume of this one and uh, that's it and then you just simply apply and then all you have to do is uh, pick position so here click one and then two and there you go so you have already the uh, this uh, simple profile and once you close this one and then you explode this because this one at the moment is still under the component you explode this one this one will automatically goes into your database so you can see here our profile now here will be deck 101 okay so this is the uh, first way to create the uh, metal deck profile next is uh, or by defining the profile and then you can use define cross section in sketch editor okay so this one is a parametric profile it means uh, you can create your own parametric profile and then save this one in your database okay just simply open this one and then as you can see here we have this uh, variable and then we have this cross section in editor and then I'll, I'll just zoom it in so I'm going to create a very a very basic uh, uh, profile here so using our uh, sketch polyline so let's say one two okay three four five six seven eight don't worry about the uh, the line if it is not straight because we can still change that one okay so let's say this one and then middle button of your mouse or maybe I can add another one here all right so in this case um, uh, once you have this sketch you can simply uh, click this horizontal constraint so all this horizontal will be will become straight horizontal line even though it looks like horizontal it still need to click on that one and then um, now uh, we need to add the vari variable here so that we can control the uh, parameters here so let's say in this case I'm going to uh, sketch horizon uh, horizontal distance so let's say one two so that's one two so I'm going to add all this uh, dimension here or distance so as you notice once I click on this position automatically it goes to our variable here so let's say 71 I'll change this one to um, uh, maybe uh, 70 so and then all this uh, name let's say b2 to b8 i'm going to uh, 
make it equal to b1 so let's say b1 so copy and then paste so everything will be symmetrical okay and then for the height so one two three so uh, as you notice here uh, that one is for the uh, to, to make the uh, horizontal line straight so I need to pick this point as well so I have now h1 and h2 here is h3 here is h4 so you need to do this once to make this uh, horizontal line straight all right so now 72 let's say i'm going to uh, change this one to uh, maybe 60 a little bit uh, smaller value and then h2 must be h is equal to h1 copy and then paste it here So now I have a straight line here. Okay. And then we need to add another uh, distance here. This one is 4 to 7 to identify now the distance between the rib. Okay. So 4 to 7, I will just simply change this one to. Let's say 100, and then uh, B9, B10 will be equals to B9 times 2 to make it 200. Okay, so copy this one and then paste, paste, paste. This one will be B9. And now I have this uh, profile. So let's say this rib, I'm going to make it round. So all I have to do is just simply double click on this uh, handle and then change it to chamfer to dome. So do double click, modify. You need to click it twice and then so that one will be that the rib will be rounded and then now we have to identify the thickness of this uh, metal deck just simply add a parameter here and then let's say call this one as a thickness and then change this one to 1.2 and then we need to equate this p1 here in our uh, sketch browser just refresh and then you will find here expand x sketch and then you can find here the thickness right click add equation and then control v and then you will have now the thickness and then this thickness will be parametric we can change that one to a thicker uh, 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 metal deck or thinner or thinner one and then all we have to do is to close it and then say yes and then let's say this one deck deck R okay make it sure click OK and once you have this deck R so all we have to do is to go to this uh, steel beam let's say this one is deck or steel deck or metal deck and then here you can just simply go to our database because th that one will be saved under the data in our uh, database filter and then you will find here the fix this one is the deck 101 which is this and then here this is the deck r which is parametric there there will be a parameters on the thickness and then apply and okay so this one will be deck r 1.2 so uh, once you have this uh, deck r uh, 1.2 so all you have to do is to click one and then one and then two and there you go so you have this 
deck R. This one is deck 101. This one is deck R 1.2. And lastly, is the uh, if you have the profile from your AutoCAD like this one. So all you have to do is just to import this one into the database of Tecla Structure. So how to do that one? From here, from application and component, all you have to do is to type DWG. So this WG is, uh, there is a uh, component uh, named DWG profile to library. It means it will convert the drawing file to our library. So all you have to do is to specify or get the input file and then band deck and then here section name let's say dkr and then profile is let's say deck 201 okay and then the profile let's say question mark let's say this one is point one apply and okay and then click one and then two and there you go so in this case all you have to do is to choose which one you prepared to create this metal deck now that you have the uh, metal deck in your uh, database so you have uh, we have now three different uh, metal deck uh, profile so we can now use this uh, profile in our floor tool so uh, if we type here floor so we can see here the floor layout just double click on the floor layout so basically by default the floor layout will have this uh, hollow core from the, from the precast because this one can be used for precast and the same time uh, for the steel deck so all we have to do now is to um, change this one to metal deck and then let's say this one will be three and instead of the concrete part as the material i can change this one to steel and here layer uh, profile so all i have to do now is to find out where is that profile that i have created earlier which is the deck deck 101 okay let's start with the deck 101 okay click ok and then apply and ok so all I have to do is to click this one one two three four and then middle button of your mouse Or maybe I can also I can still change this uh, I can still change the position of this one let's say the the general here and then I'll choose this one let's say I'll put maybe 100 to offset that one about okay all right and then um, if I want to change now the profile of this, I will uh, change that one to the deck 01. Click OK and then modify. So this one is the profile. So this one is there's some adjustment that you need to, to change that one on the uh, overlapping. Okay, this one I just want to show you how this one will be uh, called from one uh, from, from the database to the uh, floor layout and then lastly the uh, parametric the the one that we have created so here we have this deck r click ok and then modify so this one is the other profile thank you